Tea. And now look at a 1953 Morris Oxford. It's British. It's owned by Derek Foy. What year is this Morris Oxford? It's 1953. How rare and unusual is this in North America? Uh, they were imported in North America um, in the early late 40s, early 50s, and then um, in 1953 they discontinued this model. Okay. Um, what kind of power plant does it have? Uh, 1476 cc engine with 40 horsepower. Okay. Is side valve. How did that compare for the day? How would that compare to the day? Well, I can do zero to sixty in probably about thirty seconds. <laughs> Does that give you a comparison? <laughs> okay. So, tell me about the interior of the vehicle. Yes, there's not much to it. There's no radio, no air conditioning. It does have a heater because it was made for the North American market. It's four, uh, four speed on the column. Um, the interior, uh, the back seat is original. The front seat has been redone, but it needs doing again. Now you've got a clock and a speedometer way over here. Clock and speedometer. Those are on the, still on the British side. Yeah, I was going to say, they seem like they're on the wrong side. Yes, they're, they're on the British side. Uh, the starter is way over here, on the, still on the British side. Everything's on the British side. To open the hood is underneath on that side, which would be the British side. So all they did was move the steering wheel. Okay. So this was made specifically for the North American market? Yes, it was. They made them all for all over the world. They sold better in Australia. Um, mm -hmm. More like the, uh, the pickup trucks would have sold better in Australia. They called them Ute, and they still do. But they were very popular. It's not hard to handle. It's a fun car to drive. This, this, this no, that's a, that's a indicator. Oh! Yeah, okay. this is a joke. That's your That's a choke. That's a starter. Lights, wiper. Yeah. Very cool. It's a very cool little car.